Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we're going to solve this really interesting algebra problem. So we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. Right here we have a lot of options, so let's try to check our school knowledge and let's try to solve it together. Right here we have option A, option B, option C, so pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. It will be really interesting. Because a very simple question on the first side, we have no squares, we don't have any cubes right here, we have only subtraction, we have only division, so a lot of you learned this stuff in the third grade, so you can easily solve it. So go ahead and put your answer down into a comment section and we will check our answers here in just 30 seconds. It will be it will be really interesting, okay? So I just want to start with this question and I'm going to start with this obvious mistake right here. So we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1, okay? Very simple. And a lot of students go from left to right, they don't know about order of operation, they say, okay, 30 minus 10 equal to 20, 20 divided by 2 we have 10 and 10 minus 1 equal to equal to 9. Yeah, we have 10 minus 9 equal to 9. Option, option A is correct. But this is, I don't know, I don't want to say that this is correct or incorrect. I just want to show you this P and BMC order of operation because because obviously we need to solve it correctly according order of operation. So this is the first solution and I just want to mention this solution right here. But let's try to solve it like that. So we have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. And let's check this solution according to this answer according to PMDMC. Okay? So this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom right here. And let's look at this PMDMC. What is the first step? According to PMDMC, the first step is parentheses. And now we need to scan. Are there any parentheses right here? here. No, I don't see any of those, which is really great. The second step, exponents. So, are there any exponents right here? No, I don't see any of those. We don't have any exponents. So, we just go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division part. Yeah? Now, let's scan. Where do we have this division part? Yeah, we have this division part right here. Because this is subtraction, this is subtraction. We have this division part right here. So, we need to start from this division. We have 30 minus 10 divided by 2 equal to 5 and minus 1. So 30 minus 5 minus 1 equal to 24. So as you can see, addition and subtraction is after multiplication and division. But one really important moment, because a lot of students do this common mistake, they solve it correctly according to PMDMC, but they don't see this answer, because we don't have this 24 right here. And one part of students go back to this 9. But I want to show you, I want to tell that 9 is absolutely incorrect answer, and just forget to solve it like that. This is very bad mistake right here, because a correct answer is according to a correct order of operation. In our case, I prefer PMDMC, but I respect every order of operation and our correct answer is 24. But what about the correct option right here? We have option A, option B, option C, option A9, this is not the same as 24, option C is 6, this is not the same. But what about this 4 factorial? Let's try to check it because this is the last our I will hope this option. We have 4 factorial. From school we need to know that factorial, this is a product from 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 equal to 1 times 2, 2, 2 times 3, 6, and 6 times 4, 24. So as you can see, 4 factorial, this is the same as 24, and a correct answer according to PMDMC is 24, but if you're talking about an option, an option, a correct answer is option, option B. So our answer, our answer is option, option B, 4 factorial, or if you're talking about PMDMC, is 24. So just forget to solve it like that, because this is a very bad solution to start with subtraction, before division, so from left to right. We need to know about order of operations, we need to know about about maybe the main case right here, that multiplication and division is before addition and subtraction, and everything will be will be okay. We divide it first, then subtract. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, and moreover, I hope your answer is the same as mine, and I hope you're, you understand this explanation and you, you'll enjoy this video. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.